Hello there, fellow Workflow users. Um, I'd like to share with you guys today my system for taking notes while I'm reading um, and a little bit more than just a note-taking system. Uh, I also use it to improve um, my, uh, my retention of the information that I have in those notes. So I, I use it as a, a study tool and a review tool um, as well as just for for as a traditional note-taking tool. So I'm currently reading a book called The Other Brain and my notes, um, the list is divided up by chapters as it occurs, as the chapters occur in the book. Um, and if I look at, if we look at one of those chapters, if I expand chapter one, you can see a bunch of bullet, point, bullet points under the chapter and each bullet point contains a quote or passage in that chapter that I wanted, that I thought was noteworthy. So chapter one, if we look at the uh, chapter title here, there's a little bracket at the end that has, that says one to six. And this um, is just telling me that there are six bullet points, six uh, notes in that chapter that I uh, included uh, for review. So, and then each one we have note one, note two, note three, note four, note five, and note six. So I've numbered each note in the order that they occurred. And then this, so that's what the second number is telling me. And then the first number here is just telling me the page number uh, where I can find, where I can find that quote. So. Uh, note one, uh, I can find that passage or quote on page seven, paragraph three. So the first number tells me the paragraph and page number. The second number is just numbering the notes uh, in, in the order in which they occurred. Okay, so to look a little more closely at um, one of these notes, We'll turn that off for now. I gave you a sneak peek there. Uh, if we look at note number 82, this is note number 82 in chapter 4. Um, so I have this passage here that I um, that I found on page 69, which I wanted to which I wanted to include in my notes. And you can see I I underlined certain keywords in the passage. I underlined neurons. I underlined cellular division, and I underlined mature. So, in order to turn this note into more of a study tool, I made use of um, some of the. I, I made use of a stylish style that I came across in Frank's book, actually. So Frank, who uh, is responsible for a lot of the content on the Workflowy blog, he has. Um, he has, a, he has a book that he published on Workflowy specifically. And uh, he has a section in that book on stylish, using stylish styles to enhance various aspects of Workflowy. And one of them he was talking about manipulating the underlying feature to do different things. So that's what I'm doing here with the stylish style. And, but yeah, I urge all you guys, if you haven't already, to check out Frank's book. It's on his blog productivity mashup and it's very useful if you are a frequent workflow user you will probably find something in there that is going to help you out in a big way okay so if I'm going to I'm going to turn on this stylish style and basically what it does is it blacks out those underlying portions of the of the passage which turns it into a, um, which turns this, you know, just plain old note into a, a bit of a, an easy study tool. Because now when I review this note, if I read through it, so few people realize that brain cancer almost never involves. And then I get to this word here that is blacked out except for the N. So I have a little hint as to what the word, what the word is, because there's that first letter visible. But then, uh, in order to test myself, I can turn on that stylish feature and then see if I can fill in the blank. 
So I think it says neurons. And what I can do to check is simply just highlight the word or turn off the workflow style. But highlighting the word is pretty quick. And there I can see the word is neurons. So if I continue on, it says because cancer is a failure of the brakes that stop. And then there's a blacked out word that starts with C and D. I'm going to say that says cellular division. And mature neurons never undergo cell division. Okay, so I reviewed that quote. I reviewed note number 82. Uh, let's say this was the first time I reviewed that note. I, I, so I've previously entered that into my list, but I haven't reviewed it yet. And so first of all, every time I enter a new note into my list, you can see there's these brackets here. Um, this bracket with stars inside it. So every time I have a new note that I put in, I create a bracket and I put three stars inside the bracket next to the number of the, uh, next to that number that just enumerates where that note is in the sequence of notes that I've created so far. And when I review the note, and let's say I fill in all the blanks correctly, I'll delete one of those stars. And then let's say the next time I review that note, maybe tomorrow, if I'm still able to fill in all the blacked out words, I'll delete the next star. And then on the third day, if I still get everything correct, I'll delete the last star. And then once I get to an empty bracket, I know that I've reviewed this note enough times and that I'm not going to review it anymore. Um, conversely, if I read through that note and I wasn't able to fill in one or more of the blacked out words, I would add a star on that day. Um, and then, so after adding a star, on, on the subsequent review sessions, I would need at least four, because there's now four stars, I would need at least four review sessions where I get fill in all the blacked out words correctly in order to um, have mastered this learning objective number 82. And so let's say I got it wrong one day and then I get it wrong the next day, I'll add another star. And then I need to review it five times in a row before it's considered mastered. Then let's say on the next day I get it right, I'll subtract a star. And then I'll keep going like that until the brackets are empty. So that's, that's how things work for the individual notes. Now I'm just going to show you how to use the search function to filter through the list and to, uh, in different ways. So first of all, if you want to see all of the notes in your list, you can just put that open bracket <clears throat> and you'll see from note one all the way to note 96. So I have not, I've made, I've created 96 bullet points so far, 96 notes. And, and let's say I only want to see the notes that I, um, I've, I've reviewed and successfully, uh, I've deleted all the stars, so they're mastered. So I want to see all the notes that I don't need to review anymore. I'll put the closed brackets in the search function. And there, those are only the notes that I have acquired or I've, I've learned and that I don't need to review. Uh, conversely, if I want to see only the notes that I still need to review, I'll put the bracket followed by the star. And then here, um, it, it's going to bring up all of the notes that still have at least one star, so it, which this tells me that I need to review all of those notes at least one more time. Okay, so that's the basic ways to filter through the list. And then, uh, usually when I'm actually reviewing, I'm actually studying, uh, I will take about one or two chapters at a time. I'll, I'll study in, in chunks of one or two chapters, depending on how long the chapters are. So, but let's say I've already, I've already I've already kind of mastered most, most of the notes in chapters 1 and 2. So let's say I'm reviewing chapters 3, which has a range of 65 to 81, and chapter 4 also, which has a range from 82 to 85. So I'm review, I want to review notes 
65 through to 85. Um, so what I what I can what what I want to do is not just review them in sequence. So rather than rather than just go through the notes and and read through 65, then read through number 66, then read through number 67, and so forth, just in order. Um, I, I want to review them in a random sequence. Uh, this this is supposed to improve comprehension and understanding and making connections. It's a, just a better way to study. So the the second number here, the the 65, the 66, that allows me to do that by using a random number generator app on my phone and then uh, in the random number generator app I enter the range of numbers that I want to study so 65 through to 85 uh, where's the 85 down there for chapter 4 65 through to 85 so I enter that in and then in my the search function I'll I'll press the I'll generate a random number. So on my phone I got number 71. And it brings up note 71. And then I can read it over. And here I don't have the blacked out words feature turned on. I'll turn it on. And so then I can review it. And let's say I, I read through it. I get it, I get it right. Then I delete that star. And then note number 71 I don't need to review anymore because there's no more stars. If I press my random number generator again, it gives me number 77. 77 comes up. And then here, I can review that. See, I've already mastered this one. So if one comes up that I've already mastered, I just move on to the next. See, there's no stars in this bracket. Uh, and then you then you can use the random number number generator to go through all uh, all of the notes all of the numbers between 65 and 85 and once I've done that that's my study session for the day so that's how so yeah this second number is just to study in a random sequence rather than the same sequence every time okay so though the those are that's the basics of my system and uh, I would just stick with that if if it's sufficient, if it gets the job done for you, and it, so far it's been doing a pretty good job for me. Um, but uh, again, um, after uh, getting some valuable input from Frank, and uh, specifically on how to use uh, the stylish styles, um, I recently, um, me and Frank recently realized we could do some some more things than. With, with the blacked out words feature, study feature here. So I'm gonna show you that. Um, it's kind of to have different levels of difficulty basically that you can, um, you can, you can study, uh, uh, yeah, you can have different difficulty levels for your review sessions. So I'm gonna go to this new example here. I'm gonna turn off all the stylish styles and like the like like in the other list, I have the keywords in my quote underlined. But in this example, I have um, the whole word underlined, and then and then everything but the first letter of the word. So the word severed here, the whole word is underlined, and everything but the first letter is bolded. So basically, there is a stylish style that can different the the stylish style that blacks out underlined words. Uh, you can also have one that will only black out underlined and bolded words, which allows us to do this, where I I can turn on the un, I can black out the underlined and bolded portion, which does the same thing as in the previous list, where uh, the entire keyword is blacked out except for the first letter. So here, all the keywords are backed out except for the first letter. Um, but then I can also, let's say I've reviewed these notes a lot of times and I'm pretty fluent with them and I want to make it more difficult. I can black out the whole word now. So now not even the first letter is visible, which makes it harder to, set, harder to get right. So you can have different difficulty levels using these different uh, stylish styles.
So that's using that's that's kind of hijacking the underline feature, and then the underline plus bold feature. Um, you so we can bring this to a third level. We can have three levels of difficulty. If we go to this third this third example, I'm just going to take off all of the styles again. So the second example, we had two levels of difficulty. In this one, we can have you. Uh, we can differentiate again, hi hijack the underlined and bolded and italic words. So we can select those ones to get blacked out. So now only the underlined and bolded and italic portions of the text are getting blacked out, which has the same effect as in the first example. All the keywords are blacked out except for the first letter. And then if I turn on, if I black out all the underlined and bolded portions, the entire words are blacked out. And then if I want to th make things even more difficult, I can even black out the entire line, the entire line of text. So let's say I've reviewed, uh, I've reviewed both at the first level of difficulty, at the second level of difficulty, and I really want to challenge myself to see if I can, to see if I can uh, perhaps state, answer this question in my own, more in my own words without having any kind of assistance. I can black out the whole line. So here I'll show in sequence, we can black out the whole line, we can black out just the keywords, or we could black out um, just um, the whole keyword except for the first letter. So a little handy way of having different levels of difficulty when studying. Um, okay, I think that's everything um, Everything I wanted to mention. I hope this uh, this is useful. Thanks.